Sometimes when you're carrying out experiments where you com where you need to compare uh, the rates in two different conditions, for example here, you're looking at the uh, E. coli abundance in total sea water and also in uh, size fractionated sea water. So let's just uh, copy the data here and uh, use Excel to work with them. As count data is usually uh, f follows poison distribution, we will log transform it. Increase the size here so that you can see. Okay, five replicates. Log transform data. The log transform it. You have to. Uh, Label it in a proper manner in order for it to understand. Okay, so this is for zero and three four hours. Okay, do it this way. And this is for the second pair. So now you have both pairing. Okay, this is for the total sea water. This is for the size fractionated less than 0.7 micron seawater. Okay, now let's uh, use pass to see whether there's any difference between these two microcosm that we used. Uh, but before that, let me also include the label. So this will be total, uh, total hour, total. CF, CFU uh, sized hour size fractionated uh, CFU. Let's try this and paste this into pass. Okay, I click the column attributes so that I can put the label here. Okay, then you select all, press. Control A and then do the analysis of covariance for multiple slopes to see one way on COVA to see whether there's any difference between the slopes. So you can see that it is significantly different. There's two slopes between your uh, between the total and also the size fractionated okay it's from 0 to 24 hours so everything looks okay and there's a difference between the slopes and you also have the slope here uh, total and size so if you copy here and you paste here you can also uh, you can also copy the plot if you want. So usually if you want to use this as your final plot, you can change some of the plot settings to make it look nicer. Okay, once they're ready, you can save it as a SVG or a TIFF, JPEG, PNG. A lot of different formats that you can save as. That's how you can use the pass for graphing also. But it's of course not as uh, flexible as the uh, actual graphing software. There are certain things that you cannot do. Then from here you have your slopes for the total seawater and also for the size 
uh, slight fraction is the seawater. You know that the difference, the main difference between total seawater and size fraction is the seawater is the presence of grazers in the total seawater. So what we do here is we will need to find the difference between these two. So what we can do is yeah, absolute value of this minus the absolute value of this give you the so this will be your the grazing rate of E. coli okay so this is how you can use pass and uncova less of caber uh, analysis of covariance to compare the slopes to see whether they are significantly different get the gradient out and then calculate any difference that you have.